I'm back with Molly Bernhardt Walker, executive editor for Fierce Markets, and Greg Otto, technology editor for FedScoop. Let's talk cyber. Uh, President Obama's national action plan to bolster cybersecurity calls for a new position. In fact, it's already been posted online. Greg, tell us about the federal chief information security officer. What do we know about this job and what it entails? So the federal chief information security officer, or CISO, uh, is going to be a new role that is going to come aboard the government in the next 60 to 90 days. They will report to federal CIO Tony Scott. Um, and this role, what's really interesting about this role is this person isn't going to be um, the end-all be-all in the same way that Tony Scott sort of works for OMB and, and manages and sends out directives on the way the government uses IT. The federal CISO is going to be a very collaborative role. Uh, they're going to work with DOD, NSA, OPM, NIST um, about setting new standards within cybersecurity and really making recommendations and setting forth best practices for how the federal government will use cybersecurity going forward. Um, they will also sit on an information security subcommittee on the CIO Council, so they will be working with agency heads nonstop. And they will also be working on a task force that looks to bring more cybersecurity experts into the fold in federal government. The federal government is having a tough time getting people to work in cybersecurity at various agencies. So the federal CISO is going to work on an initiative that will bring in young, fresh thinking to modernize cybersecurity. The budget proposal also calls for $19 billion in cyber spending. That would help DHS maintain Einstein and pay for the continuous diagnostics and monitoring program. That is a good chunk of change, Molly. Do these IT initiatives have bipartisan support in Congress? Um, I would say the cybersecurity initiatives under DHS do have bipartisan support um, across, you know, support across the aisle. Um, I would say, however, though, with that uh, increased funding, usually comes increased scrutiny. So it will be interesting to see how closely those programs are monitored. Um, there was a pretty damning uh, government accountability office report about Einstein and saying that some of its capabilities were seriously lacking, um, and that came out about two weeks ago. So. Um, um, we have yet to kind of see what the repercussions are of that and how that may affect congressional support. With Congress already considering an update to CISA, the Cybersecurity Information Act, uh, Information Sharing Act, I should say, uh, what's the latest there, Greg? How does that fit into this budget debate? Well, I think what you're going to see in relation to CISA and the budget debate is, I don't know if there's necessarily going to be updates to CISA, but you're going to see that plan sort of take action. Um, I was at a NIST um, ground, or I'm sorry, not a groundbreaking, a ribbon cutting for the National Cybersecurity Center of Excellence earlier this week. There was an interesting panel that was held, held there. Um, the Secretary of Commerce, Penny Pritzker, talked with um, the CEO of Symantec, Michael Brown, and the president of RSA, Amit Yorin, and uh, the two private sector CEOs and presidents uh, we're talking about how the way that CISA is set up now, uh, you have to share information on cyber threats with DHS. Amit Yorin was, was pretty active in saying that he would rather have the private sector work with the Department of Commerce instead of working with the Department of Homeland Security on sharing these threats with, between business to business. Amit Yorin thought that the DHS part of CISA worked more with the intelligence community, and that's not something he was very comfortable with. He would rather have businesses work with the Department of Commerce because there is this bottom line part of information sharing and cybersecurity that goes into protecting businesses, and the businesses would like to talk to the federal agency that's responsible for businesses instead of having to deal with intelligence community. The past two years have arguably been the most revolutionary for federal IT in, in decades, and the budget really drives that home. It calls for more spending on R&D, looks to expand U.S. digital services to 25 federal agencies. I'm wondering what you both take away from this effort to expand, to invest more. Uh, let's start with you, Greg. Well, I would say with what the USDS has done, um, I think one of the lasting things the Obama tech angle has is the fact that Obama reached out over these past two years to Silicon Valley and went, look, we need help. Please come out to D.C. 
and help us figure out our IT problems. Now, within the budget, you're going to see the USDS, you're going to see agencies adopt that model. Um, there were some lines in the proposed budget that the USDS is going to have hubs at 25 agencies across the government. So if the president can have the USDS stood up in two years, you're going to see movement from Silicon Valley to come into government and really fix problems within these agencies and really get a modernized IT structure throughout the government. Molly, I'll give you the final word. Any final thoughts? Um, yeah, actually, just to kind of build on what Greg said, I think the push toward modernization is really um, evident and the increased investment in IT. Uh, I kind of differ from Greg's point of view in that I think it's maybe driven more from a risk management perspective after the OPM breach and all the cybersecurity issues that have come to light than an innovation one, although I think the federal government would love to engage Silicon Valley. I don't know if that's really the big push. I think the modernization is really a matter of safeguarding the systems that's really um, freaking out the federal government, to be honest. <laughs> freaking them out. All right. Molly <laughs> Bernhardt-Walker with Fierce Markets and Greg Otto with Fed Scoop. Thank you to you both. Thank, Thank you. you.